Happy New Year. Welcome to Speak, first show of the year. We got to make it a great one. A lot of great topics for you, but first and foremost, that's the new and improved Dave Hellman. Improved, all right. New and improved. Okay. That's the same old brilliant Joy Taylor. And this is the <laughs> Eagles all-time rushing leader, LaShawn Shady McCoy. And speaking of the Eagles, Jalen Hurts, he was out for the Eagles yesterday. Gardner Minshew, backup quarterback, he could not get the job done. The Eagles had so much to play for. They were trying to lock up their one seed, but as you see right there, a pivotal interception that cost the Eagles a game late. And Andy Dalton had a field day through the air, picking apart the Eagles defense. Taysom Hill, he also got busy. A rushing touchdown right there that you see. Nick Sirianni, head coach, said, quote, I'm never going to be somebody that's going to hit the panic button. Nick Sirianni, you shouldn't. You're the coach. I'm not a player anymore. So I am going to hit that panic button. Shady McCoy, Eagles fans, Joy Dave, I believe it's time for the Eagles to panic for this reason. I'm more concerned about the Eagles than I am concerned about the lack of Jalen Hurts. The Eagles with the backup quarterback should be able to beat the New Orleans Saints. Why? Because the Saints were starting a backup quarterback. Don't get it twisted. Andy Dalton's not a starting quarterback in the National Football League. 9-19 and as a starter the last three seasons going into this year. Andy Dalton, the same Andy Dalton that got benched for rookie Justin Fields, that Andy Dalton, I'm not as concerned about the absence of Jalen Hurts as I am concerned about the lack of cognition with the Eagles' defense. Andy Dalton went six for eight on third down, y'all. Andy Dalton was picking the Eagles apart. 15 plays, 75-yard touchdown drive to start the game. The whole game, the Eagles were chasing points because that defense allowed Andy Dalton to march down the field, and Taysom Hill ran <gasps> the same play three consecutive times to get into the end zone on the Eagles' defense. I'm panicked because even if Jalen Hurts were to come back, opposing quarterbacks are 45 and 57 in the last two games against the Eagles defense. 45 and 57, roughly an 80% completion percentage. League average is 70%. Jalen Hurts don't backpedal. He don't T-step. He don't break on the ball. He plays quarterback. So even though Jalen Hurts will come bring relief, I'm still panicked for the Eagles because that defense is not the same defense we were led to believe because Andy Dalton shouldn't have been throwing strikes like he did 2-5, but are you panicked? I'm not panicking at all. Nah, not at all. It's one game we lost, right? Now, you'll say it's two games in a row, but each week... It's true. Yeah, each week is one game. So, I'll, I'll say this. First of all, the biggest issue is Jalen Hurts, he's not playing. And before I get on Jalen Hurts, let me address you, because you Please were doing, do. doing all the defense and all that. The defense let up 13 points. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you want to slice 13, it. 13 too many. Slice it, dice it, whatever you want to do. 13 points, you should be able to win that I game. How many Saints let up? So, let's talk about my, my Eagles, right? My Eagles, we need Jalen Hurts. Without Jalen Hurts... I mean, we, we can't run the ball. We're averaging 75 yards rushing. Mm -hmm. You can't start any offense, any passing attack if you can't run the ball. Points. I mean, we, we, we can't even put no points up. We average 30 points with Jalen Hurts when he's there, right? So 13 points, we'd have, 20 would have, would have made that happen. He doesn't turn the ball over. Even more with our team. We put up 10 points. It's a season low. It's getting worse. It's getting bad and bad and bad. It's the worst it's ever been. 20, 67 yards, lowest this season. Six sacks, the worst this season. So, yeah, a lot of that is we don't have Jalen Hurts. I'm happy, I'm not happy it happened, but there's always, like, in losses, there's always lessons. And the lessons be taught to everybody else other than me. Everybody talks about how, oh, with that type of team, who needs, who needs Jalen Hurts? Any quarterback can do it. The Cowboys players were saying it. A lot of analysts was talking about it. And we really see now that the, the big reason why we're not winning these games because our MVP is not there. Jalen so Hurts. Are you worried because he's missed two games in a row? Oh, and he has an injury to the throwing shoulder. My sort, my, look, look, I, I, I always wanted to say this on TV. Lashawn McCoy's closest sources says that Jalen Hurts will be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> From somebody who played in the Eagles for six years, that just doesn't mean as much, Shady. Your sources <laughs> are your friends. Anyway, Dave friends <laughs> in the right places. <laughs> Dave, Dave Hellman, right. where do you stand? Time for the Eagles to panic. I would hope the Eagles are made of sterner stuff than to panic. I mean, they're 13-3. and three. They're still the number one seed. All they have to do is beat a Giants team that doesn't have a whole lot to play for, and they will have the bye week. So I would hope that they're not panicking. It does, <coughs> it does make me think of conversations we had back in October and November about are the Eagles battle-tested? Are the Eagles going through enough adversity? Because this is adversity right here. Like, you go from kings of the world riding high, can anybody get in the Eagles' way? And he can't even beat the New Orleans Saints. And I know, I know Jalen Hurts isn't playing, but come on, they should have been able to win that game with, with Gardner Minshew. From what we saw from Gardner Minshew against the Cowboys, they're a good enough team. I still don't think they should panic, though. Again, I said it last week. 
they are catching bad luck at the wrong time. Like, you're going to lose guys. You're going to go through adversity. But to lose your starting quarterback, to lose Lane Johnson, they lose Josh Sweat in that game. I think that probably contributed to their defensive performance at yeah. least a little bit. They're catching this stuff at the wrong time. But they don't need to panic. They need to go beat a Giants team that's probably going to be resting players. Like, the Giants are locked into the sixth seed. There's, re- there's no incentive for the Giants to play unless they just really think it would be funny for the Cowboys to win the NFC East, which it would be really funny for whatever that's worth. But no, go beat a Giants team that doesn't have a lot to play for, and you get a week off, you finish the season 14-3, and three, and you will probably have a lot of those guys back when the playoffs start. So no, I don't think they should panic. No, there's no reason to panic. <laughs> Again, I don't know what everyone else is watching. Maybe my television's broke. I'm getting a different feed from another planet. I mean, the upside down or something, because I'm pretty sure Gardner Minshew played both those games that they lost. Yeah. Right? Okay. So he didn't play well in the Cowboys game. I know everyone keeps saying this, but he turned the ball over three times. He did. I don't know why that's a good game. I don't know. Again, I'm in the upside down, and the upside down three turnovers is a good game. I don't care about yards. I don't care about any of that. He gave the Cowboys defense, or the Cowboys defense forced him, however you want to say it, Mm -hmm. the ball was turned over three times. Not a good game. This last game is an even better example of why everything that happens with Philadelphia goes through Jalen Hurts. If you were saying anything different, it's fine. We're wrong about some things in life. I'm wrong like once a year. It's, it's okay. And when I'm wrong, I say it. So just have some seats. Jalen Hurts is clearly the most valuable player on this team. And guess what else? Lane Johnson, pretty important too. Yeah. So what are we evaluating here? They are a Hurt team. They're not going at full speed. If they lost like that with everyone on the field, I'd be very concerned and very panicked that they're playing like that at this point in the season. But the guy's not there. Jalen Hurts is not out there. If we're going to move on to the conversation about how concerned are we back that he's going to be back on time and healthy, that's a different conversation. But about the Eagles in general, no. The Saints had something to play for yesterday. Whoever's out there, they, they, they had something to play for. The Eagles are banged up right now, and they don't have their MVP. And even though we don't, award we don't count absences as a bonus to the mvp conversation and we shouldn't because availability is a skill and it's important but i think we can close the book on the conversation about how valuable jalen hurts is to this team unless you guys are watching a different feed because what i'm getting the ones that the games i'm watching they need jalen hurts here's why uh, all that is true and all that everything body has said here is true here's why i'm still panicked in light of all that Even when Jalen Hurts does come back, because he will come back, I don't know how well Jalen Hurts will operate given that the injury is to his throwing shoulder. Assume Jalen Hurts does operate at his highest level. What I can't do as a former defender and a guy who analyzes and criticizes defense is ignore just how bad the defense is playing. Jalen Hurts or no Jalen Hurts, they're still doing some things, Shady, where I'm like, eh, this is not the same defense we thought. Wouldn't you agree that they played better down the stretch of that game, though? Yeah, like, like they, they, we adjusted. Yeah. They, they made, they, 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 first of all, they had 10 points at halftime, right? Yeah. They had 13 points offensively. They, they keep the field goal, that yep. was it. We, I would say the first. Gardner through the pick six. The first so three, three or four possessions of that game What were are we really talking troubling. about here? Like, you're like, talking about, what we're talking about is for me, for my liking, if you know Gardner Minshew is your starter, it is 13 points too many. It is 10 points too many. Dang. It is, if you know that you are going up against a, you have a backup quarterback. Okay. You know you got to be the best defense on the field. We've but been in locker rooms before. 13 points is great, though. It is. But the New Orleans Saints let up how many? And they scored on defense. Yeah. So that's what it comes down to. Shady, I've been in locker rooms with you before, so you can't roll your eyes. You've gone out on the field no, and said, I'm, I'm just, about to be the best running back on the field I'm today. I'm just saying, like, 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 that 10 points at halftime, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then they, they made the adjustments, which good teams do. They had three points in the second half, offensively. Sure. That's good as hell. I'll show that's not to me against Andy. So, so, no, so no points, like 25 if points. If you're playing against Andy Dalton, to me, that's just too much. Like you saw, you saw is what Andy, a, he, is he trash like that? Andy Dalton against the Philadelphia Eagles should not be able to do that. I think, like, I think, I think because, he's solid. Not to mention, We're the best though, secondary in the league two weeks coming ago. Coming off of the Cowboys' performance offensively against this Eagles team, it's yeah. like, sooner or later, what's up? Uh, not only that, but as I'm watching it, I'm like, the Eagles' defense, they're scared to play man coverage. And I get it. Avante Maddox starting nickelback. He out. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Chauncey right, Gardner-Johnson right, yeah, starting yeah, safety. Right. He out. Right, yeah. But I'm like, the Eagles are scared to, like, as, a, as somebody watching the defensive tape, I'm panicked because I'm like, oh, we ain't got the guys. Like, unless these guys come back healthy, we don't have the guys. But if you, but guy, if you go from, four, you go from 40, 40 points in Dallas to 13 points in Philly, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. 
Our offense has to do better. The offense, we had 10 points. That's the worst we had all year. So it's more on the offense than the defense. I really think this is the bottom line. Like, the, the Eagles could beat the Giants.